Hey kids, it's JJ again. I got a quickie review for you. Bam! Check it out. It's a little box in a bag. How cool is that? No, I've been waiting for these. Um, this is kind of a weird one, to be honest. These are, I've been waiting for these for a while. My T-Motors, Air 40 T-Motor, 2450 KV. It's kind of in the middle there. I usually run 2300 or 26, usually. Uh, this is a 2450 for what that's worth, and they're pink, but I'm colorblind, so I don't care. Um, they're weird. I haven't put them on yet, obviously, but they're different. Check it out. I heard, You hear about the T-Motor, what is it, F40s, F30s, F56.2s, or whatever the hell they are. Uh, you don't ever hear about these Air 40s, so I wanted to try them out. KV2450. Um... The thing that strikes me weird about these motors is the fact that the wires are ex like, I haven't cut them open yet, but to me, they feel what we call, um, what do we call that? It's tinned, but it's called capillary tinning in my industry. And it's where the whole wire is tinned all the way. See how it holds its form? It's very uh, craft wire feeling. Uh, so I believe these are capillary tint but look at that there looks like the cooling on these is going to be pretty stellar um, yeah they're different they're different so they feel good in the magnets they're not real ratchety though and usually that's indicative of a very good motor like those gold cobras man it's like chuck, 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 you know um, whereas these are kind of you know I don't know we're gonna find out though I am going to slap them on the hellbender one of my hellbenders this is the uh, what is this dog? This is the version 2 Hellbender Omnibus F3 with a 20 amp ESC. So not super special with that. Uh, looks like everything will reach. So yeah, uh, probably wrap some... Uh, these wires are funky, so I'm going to put some uh, wire wrap on them probably, which will be very easy to get through. Um, yeah, interesting motors. Interesting motors. But I think they're going to look pretty stellar on there. And uh, I'm very... I like the build. They feel really good. I like the, the way they use a, a Q-clip on there instead of a standard C-clip, which is good. I think the cooling is going to be nice. I have not really read a lot about these or anything else. So anyway, uh, give me 30 seconds. I'm going to slap these on the bender, and uh, we're going to give these things a day in court and see what happens. Stay tuned. Take care. And it's been 30 seconds. Look at that. Here we go. The T-Motor Air 40s. Um, got them mounted up. It was an interesting process, I must say. Uh, these wires are so freaking bizarre. I, I don't get it. Um, they're, they're tinned all the way through, I think. And uh, I, I've never seen anything like that. I don't, I don't know why, um, what the reason is. <laughs> But it made for a very interesting, you can see it's like running plumbing. I mean, they just stay where you bend them. Um, I don't love that, I have to admit. We'll see how them, you know, maybe they'll be awesome. And maybe they'll be just, you know, we don't even have to, it, we'll, we'll, we'll put up with the painfulness of it. Now, for instance, if you were to put them on something with bullet ESCs, like these 30 amp jobs here, uh, you notice how you cut your wires to put it on your bullet ESCs. These will be a great candidate because then you don't have to be dealing with that much of the wire. Um, however, I, I don't know why they did that. So we're going to see how she flies. Here's my other Hellbender with uh, Racer Star Motors 2600s on these. Um, pretty much identical machines. Literally identical except for the motors. So we're going to see how this thing flies. Like I said before, the quality seems to be very nice. Um, the magnet gap, as my buddy uh, pointed out when he, he was uh, talking about the motors he just got, he's like, uh, this is Quad Father, he's on my channel, and he's like, oh, check it out. Um, check out the, the gap between the magnets and the, and the coil there, so it, or the stator. So that's pretty good. Um, that is indicative of a good motor. Higher tolerances, basically. Now. Uh, we're going to take this out in the driveway and do a pop test on it, and uh, it's windy and nasty and colder than my ex-wife out there, so I'm not going to fly this thing around. I'm just going to slap a 4S on there, and uh, this is just a basic old 75C, and we're just going to pop it around, and I'll be right back, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll discuss them. So hang on two seconds. Here we go.
Okay, kids, it is raining out. Not enough to make it a really cool EWOD video, but we're going to test these guys out and see what they do. So this is not going to be a very long video. Uh, we're just going to do a couple pop tests in the air, and uh, we're going to see what happens. So, there she is. All right. See if these motors live up to T motor uh, reputation. Wow. Look at that. Very little throttle. I'm just in angle mode. Wow. These are awesome. Good lord. Did you hear that beeper go off? That was a fully charged 75C for us. And we're just in angle mode. I don't want to fly too much just because it's uh, raining out. That's half throttle. Wow, these are awesome. Damn. Damn, I am impressed. Um, I have to be totally honest with you, uh, and that was with a couple of drinks, that's why I only flew in angle mode. These motors are fucking Badass. I really didn't think they would be. They're a little warm, not hateful. Um, I really didn't think they would. They don't have that indicative, uh, I like using that word today, obviously. They don't have that ratchety feel. I mean, look at the size of these. These are my Gold Cobras I'm absolutely in love with. And these are the T motors. Look at that difference, okay? Um, and obviously, it's the you know, the size of the mag, the stators and all that, but I really didn't expect much. You know, these shitty wires, I was just kind of like, well, they're not shitty. I shouldn't say that. They're just different. They're very, very different. But man, these things got some ass. I cannot wait to fly this in Acro. Uh, it's raining. I've been drinking and it's just nasty out. So I don't feel like flying, but, uh, yeah, these for the money, shit the bed. These things are awesome. So, uh, I'll put a link in the description on Banggood where I got these. I think, don't quote me on this, I want to say they were 15 bucks a pop, uh, which is damn good considering they were moving like these gold cobras just about, and these dudes are 20 bucks a pop. And I think, I basically think that these are the same cost as the Sunny Skies. Uh, cha cha cha, where are they? Oh, there. Sorry, got a lot of quads here. Um, the new Sunny Skies just put on, but look at the difference. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I can't really give these things a total recommendation because I just did pop tests and, and a couple little shots in, in angle mode, but uh, damn, I, I, I'm happily impressed. These are a lot better than I thought they were going to be. So that's fucking cool. Anyway, uh, so far a thumbs up. When the weather clears out, I will give a, a better flight test video and maybe compare it against my uh, my other Hellbender, which is its brother, that's running the uh, uh, 2600 KV Racer Stars. These are the good old-fashioned generic $8 a pop motors. Um, maybe I'll compare the two just for fun because these really, yeah, they're probably, they're about twice as much as the Racer Stars, but they're built better. Um, they're not hollow shaft, obviously. I did notice, and this is really minimal, almost negligible, but these lock nuts are really good. I mean, they start locking in like the first thread, whereas like a racer star prop nut, you can, you can thread by hand almost all the way in. I know that's a silly little thing, but every little bit counts. So um, I'm impressed. I really wasn't expecting these to be great. I knew my Sunny Sky new ones were going to be great. I knew the Gold Cobras were going to be awesome. Um, but I always hear about the T-Motor, uh, was it, F-40s or whatever they are, being so awesome, and the F-30s and the F-80s or whatever, the F-15 fighter pilots, whatever they are. Um, 
And these little Air 40s, man, just for pop tests in the driveway, from what I've just seen, damn, I'm freaking impressed. I might be buying another set of these. So anyway, uh, keep the shiny side up. If you have any questions, let me know. I will get a better flight video on here for you of these motors as soon as the weather clears up a little bit. And until then, keep your shiny side up, kids. And have fun, and subscribe, and have a good weekend. Talk soon. Bye.